Wheelchair basketball star Amber Merritt has been waiting almost a decade to get her second Paralympic chance. Rio was heartbreaking. It's uh, undescribable the pain that that was and caused within us. Um, but we take everything on the chin and we just keep pushing forward. The Australian gliders have one of the proudest histories in the sport, winning a medal at four straight Paralympics from Sydney to London. But after failing to qualify for Rio in 2016, the squad is desperate to get back to making an impact on the international stage. Yeah, it's been encouraging to hear them talk about redemption. And, you know, there's a, the gliders have got a really strong and proud history. This year's team features nine Paralympic debutantes, but despite a young squad, they believe a medal is a realistic goal. It's not something that we're looking at winning gold straight away. We are looking at um, just baby stepping into a podium position and then hopefully in Paris we'll, we'll hit the gold. For both the men's and women's teams, COVID lockdowns and border closures have disrupted preparations and pandemic-related headaches will continue all the way to Japan. Uh, it's one thing to, to talk about being safe in, in every day, but it's also trying to keep the team on the track and not lose anything, anyone to, to COVID protocols. A key concern for the whole Paralympic team when the Games get underway on the 24th of August. Jacob Kagi, ABC News.